The active investigation of a cluster of cases associated with two McDonald's food establishments in Kona is also continuing. Uh, a second case at the um, <coughs> second location brings the total cases to 14. We now have seven workers and uh, seven family members uh, who all lived in the same family uh, who have been found to be positive. <coughs> this is another uh, example of, of what happens when a worker goes to work and works while they're ill. Um, again, we haven't finished this investigation and it's likely we we're going to find others as well who have been exposed. But it is critical that uh, we all stay home when we feel sick and, and not expose others. All right, uh, Dr. Anderson, another question for you from Chelsea Jensen. This is West Hawaii Today. Uh, the audio for the online stream cut off during your update regarding the McDonald's restaurant. So she wants to know, was the 14th case a staff or family member? And has there been any additional information gleaned regarding the risk to the public? Does it remain low? I believe the, uh, the last case reported uh, was, was a worker. Uh, there have been a total of seven workers uh, working at one of the two McDonald's uh, and, and a total of seven uh, individuals all in the same uh, family complex. Uh, the family complex was two homes actually on a single piece of property, but they were um, uh, obviously uh, uh, in contact with one another uh, through, through the course of this epidemic. The real problem though, um, the way this all got started was one worker came to work and continue to work for days while they were actively sick. And, and we all know that, uh, that often the disease is spread between co-workers who are working shoulder to shoulder often, uh, and, uh, and that's a, a significant risk. Uh, the family members, of course, were, were uh, gathering for meals and probably uh, uh, being exposed to each other uh, in other ways. But again, we've had uh, a total of 14 uh, uh, positive results so far. Um, associated with this cluster. It's still under under investigation, by the way. Okay, Dr. Anderson, this is from Sherry Bracken, HPR Kona. She's asking about your DOH release that notes no Big Island cases were hospitalized, but you noted that one of the McDonald's victims was transported to Oahu for treatment and hospitalization. Is that person counted in Oahu hospitalizations, or is that still to be added to the Big Island stats? That individual was a resident of the Big Island and is, should be in the Big Island stats. As I remember, it, one, one, one individual was hospitalized associated with that cluster. The uh, most recent case, I believe, was not. Um, when we report a hospitalization, we, we report in where the status of the individual at the time the, co the case is reported. Um, so that uh, was probably a situation where the individual was in the hospital when we received the report um, and was a... Uh, an individual uh, uh, from Kona who was sent to Oahu for treatment.